My name is Carson. Welcome to Thrifty Garage, a channel where we do everyday repairs, how-tos, and reviews. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about the design flaws in this Diamond C trailer right here. It's been almost two years since we picked up this uh, Diamond C EQT for the landscape business. This has been a great trailer for the business, but we do have a couple of design flaws we'd like to kind of take note of and show. And one being this situation right here. So this pin that holds the ramps on has come broken off. And that's a new shear in there. It looks like uh, it, it, the bolt is just not strong enough for this. And I think what they did is they, they put this on and they welded it on this backside here. And it's just too weak to, to have that bolt support that. And the reason this is a huge design flaw is because this is not the first time this is broken. That one actually broke and we repaired it. So on this side you can see I have welded this around the outside edge instead of being welded on the backside. And that has held up to that. You can see I did some spray paint repair there. Uh, I got the wrong color match for this trailer. So this is not cement gray, this is the silver. Um, but we went ahead and welded on that um, joint and it's been good ever since. So on this side, we'll have to do the same thing. We'll have to take this little nub, put it back in there, grind around there and weld it back into place and we'll use just that outside edge as a place to weld on and hold that together. Another issue this trailer has had recently, just went through, is fixing the fenders. So these fenders, they are the removable fenders and they will get rocks that fall in between there and wedge those out and away from the trailer. And on this one right here, you can see again, our color match is off. And what we did here is we came in here and actually welded back the seam because this whole the bracket right here started cracking on all four corners of these fenders. So these fenders were getting pushed outward. So I pulled those off, power washed them, welded them up, painted them, and threw them back on. And they have been much better. I'm trying to think of long-term options on this to help with the situation. Thinking like a foam um, filler rod in here, um, silicone, just something to keep dirt and rocks from getting in there, maybe even a, a flap of some sort, rubber flap, something to keep the dirt and rocks out of there, but still keep them removable. I have also thought about just uh, removing them altogether. Another option would be an angle iron piece that would go right here and possibly even bolt uh, to the frame here. A uh, couple different options, but this is definitely a design flaw and uh, inevitably you're gonna get dirt and rocks in there and that's gonna become a problem. Another potential design flaw is up underneath the trailer here in front of the tandem axles. We've got this lower, I believe this is a four inch I-beam frame, no C-channel frame, and it stops right here. And then we've got another C-channel frame right above it. And the concern there is at this point, eventually we'll have enough uh, friction right here that this will start to crack and go up there. We've seen several other reviews on other big channels that have had similar situations that these have broken off. Uh, Andrew Camatra and Demolition Ranch, both have had trailers that have over time, over the years, broken the, the upper frame right here. And so I am extremely concerned about that at this point, two years later, has not been a problem yet, uh, but that is something to keep in mind of. Now I'm not saying this to dog on Diamond C, it's been a great trailer and the paint really has held up well. You can see underneath here, there is some spots that didn't get the best coverage, um, but overall a uh, very good paint job and it looks extremely nice from the outside. So very impressed with that. Here's a closer look at that piece. You can see where it's sheared off and you can also see where it has been broken for a long period of time and rusted before it's sheared off. So this has been a ongoing problem that has resulted in this breaking eventually and falling down. I was not driving at the time this one happened, one of my guys was, but I assume that uh, it did scratch it at the ground like the first one did. And we've got some fresh scrapage on here, not too bad. And this is a contact point for the the trailer anyways when you end up using it to load up so no real big concerns there um, but it is a concern that these ramps have now dropped twice on us while we're traveling i suppose while we're talking about the ramp and the paint job we could look at these bars these bars are pretty flimsy they bend a lot, they flake a lot of paint. That's a new flake right there. You can see we've got fresh metal there. We've got rust and metal there. 
we've got really poor coverage there honestly i'm shocked why is that not resting even though that never got paint on it anyways again just one of the main things that has room for improvement on an already pretty good trailer did throw some primer on here throw some paint on here and i need to order some color match paint so we can paint up these fenders to be the right color and that patch and that patch and whatever else we have to fix in the future so as i said overall it's been a great trailer i have several videos on the channel of the diamond c trailer here i uh, love the diamond c i would definitely buy again i think uh, the prices are a little bit outrageous right now but i'm starting to see them come down a little bit um, paint quality is awesome i love the neck here looks beautiful um, again, several reviews on the channel talking about Diamond C, the good and the bad. Um, I see a lot of good stuff out there, but I want to share these experiences that I'm having, um, not to be negative, but to just to share real world experiences uh, with a real trailer. So that's all I've got. We'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching Thrifty Garage.